I have uh, young girls, eight, nine, been turned into prostitutes, being given drugs by drug syndicates. Young children being brought up in this hijacked building, deplorable conditions. They're the ones who are going to suffer. So by supporting NC and everyone to think that they are sabotaging me. No, they are sabotaging poor people. And one thing for sure, for as long as I'm alive, I will do everything possible to ensure that uh, I don't fail them. Look, you know, for me, uh, the city of Johannesburg over the last 136 years, uh, this city was discovered, what, 1886. Johannesburg was built around migrants. You're right, right. And no country in the world can ever make it without migrants. Migrants are, mm -hmm. uh, are an integral part of success of any nation. But, but you cannot grow an economy in a chaotic environment. You can't have chaos. So we're calling on the seven billion of people of the world. Please come to South Africa. Come and spend your money. Come and live here. But please come into our country legally. And when you are here, please respect our laws. Mm. You break the two, you violate the two. Please, you can't be my friend. If other people are happy to have you as a friend, not me. If you come into my country, you come here illegally, and you come here and you say, South Africa is a jungle, I can assure you, you're not going to be my friend. That's my view as far as foreigners are concerned. But we want them to be here. We want their dollars, we want their yens. We want uh, the whatever, pullers, every available currency. We want it, we want it here. Because that's the only way we can uh, develop the city. And I'm sure you're aware I've declared um, the, the, the inner city to really be a, a huge opportunity for me to kickstart economic revival of our city, okay. to address this massive housing backlog that I'm sitting with. Sitting with 300,000 housing backlog, I'm sitting with 158,000 people who are looking for houses, who cannot afford to build houses for themselves. And now I have a city hijacked by criminal elements. So I've got to get them out of the city. We're doing raids literally every day. We're doing raids to profile so that we see who's in these buildings. And, and I've made a commitment, an unapologetic one, that uh, to the private sector, you see my proposals when they go out, that once you like the building, us as a city will take the responsibility to find alternative accommodation, emergency accommodation for those people. But however, I will only provide accommodation to South Africans. If you're not South African, it cannot be my responsibility. Because when you can't expect me, I'll go to America or go to Zimbabwe, expect the Zimbabwean government to find my accommodation. If I go to and live, decide I want to go and live in Zimbabwe, I must be able to provide for themselves in Zimbabwe. So why should South Africa be the only country in the world with uh, such uh, uh, an expectation? How can I be expected to provide accommodation for the world when I cannot provide accommodation for my own people? So for me, my pref preference unapologetically is uh, for South Africans. I've got South Africans on my waiting list. They've been on the waiting list uh, uh, since 1995, 1996. Mm -hmm. Am I going to allow a foreigner to come here and, and jump the queue? It's all going to happen under my watch. I've got uh, our family members, right. not family, we're residents of the city of Johannesburg. Yeah. They've been waiting since 1995, 1996 for houses. Now tell me, when I, when I have to provide housing, who, who must get preference? An illegal person who came here with no document, is he the one who must get preference? No court of law is going to force me to do that. Because then I would want that court to explain to South Africans why they expect me. I must allow criminals actually to jump the, the queue. And, and I would really want that court to tell me with this list that I must ignore South Africans. So that's why I'm saying this. If you want me to provide accommodation for, for all this international community, please then give me the money. 
So I'm saying to them, don't just tell me I must build houses for people. I've never seen houses being built from fresh air. I don't have the, the technology to build houses from fresh air. I need resources. So court or anybody else, so-called uh, human rights lawyers, says that I, I must build houses for people. With what? <laughs> when I can't build the houses for, for South Africans?